Hello, and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we did a whole lot of early work for the um, for the beginning of scenario or level four of the campaign, and uh, now we're kind of just figuring out uh, what next to do. And I think what ne what's next might be either cloth belts, or we could do animal products. Um, I think, though, since we don't need leather because we're getting the books by selling or trading stone for books, that I think we can probably not do animal product right away, at least until we need the, um, until we need something else. Uh, we, and we might need milk at some point or something along that line, so that would be a good time to start that. And we're just now getting ready to finish up animal pastures. So I think I want to do the cloth conveyor belts, and I think I want to set them up over here because we have the cloth in this barn. And we have the, um, oh, we unlocked the pasture. Nice. We have planks over here. And we can make some more stone and maybe even make some more planks or, or accelerate the making of the planks here some. Yeah, we could we need to bring in logs a little bit faster. So let me, um, oh, you can go ahead and drop off your wares there. Yep. And I'm going to delete this worker. And I'm going to take these out and put in a forester. This is, of course, going to cost us... Uh, it's, going, it's going to cost us some yellow coins, but we're earning quite a few now. We can always increase that. Uh, let's put on a uh, shoot there. And I'm trying to decide... I think I want to just kick this up to at least two workers and then discontinue this one. But I'm not sure if that's going to be enough or not. Looks like it is. Great. Uh, at least for one lumber mill. We can always uh, do, do more lumber milling uh, later. But um, let's look at a workshop. Uh, maybe here-ish. And we want to make cloth conveyor belts. We need the cloth from here. We need wooden wheels. And we need stone bricks. So I think I want to make some more stone bricks up here on this plateau rather than shipping them over from here. Oh, let's start another research. Then the rest of the research is take a red coin. Let's start with the cheapest red coin first. Actually, it's the cheapest on the science too. Uh, fluid pipes. We've done this one before. The only new one here for us is basic medicine, which would be interesting to take a look at. Uh, cloth conveyor belts go here. So let's, uh, let's do a... a well, I guess we have to do... We don't have a mine yet, so I guess we still have to do the uh, stonemason and the workers. I'm going to put that up here on the hill, I think. But I should put it close to the stone patch. Stone block. What does this get unlocked with? Jewelry. Oh, okay, so that makes us jewelry. Uh, let's do a, a few workers here. No population capacity. Can we do... Yeah, we should do the level 3 houses. We've got plenty of stone bricks now. And we could even go a level further with the cloth, I think. I'm going to do three to start with. One there. One there. One there. And let's do a bunch of paths. And then we'll need, well shoot, we can't roll these down the conveyor, or shoot, can we? No, I didn't think about that. Um, crap. We need conveyor belts in order to have this working. In that case, uh, workers, you need to retire yourselves for a moment, or pause yourselves for a moment. And let's temporarily, oopsie, that's help. That's not what I wanted. Let's temporarily move this down here then. And then I'll have these guys dropping into a chute instead. Put the chute maybe here. Can I get this all the way down to the ground before it's too late? Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to get it down to the ground. I just need to get it down low enough. Hopefully that is low enough. Let's just do the scaffolding block here. And we got our fluid pipes unlocked. Is that high enough? No, we need one more. 
That might end up being too high then. So let's do a sloped block down into there. All right, so now I need to move workers out of the way a little bit more. And then I need a chute coming maybe this way. Chute coming this way, not that one. I'm gonna shoot here. Nope. There. There. And this should be that and that. Okay, so you can work from here. Put a path there. You can work here and you can work here. Alright. Now I need a worker here temporarily, just uh, shuffling the stone bricks into the workshop. And then I need a cart, or a wagon, WG, coming over here, picking up wheels from this barn and taking them to that workshop. Put this in here like that. Oh, I'll eventually reconfigure these paths. Or maybe I'll do it sooner than eventually. But we do like that. Will that help? I don't know if that helps or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Take that path out. Or maybe I don't want to. Okay, I think that'll work okay. And then we need uh, cloth. So let's... Hmm, this is going to get a little bit hairy in here, though. We put some scaffolding blocks in. And that way I can put in a passing lane here. So I guess I did want this here. I will just do it all. And then another wagon. Or, yeah, wagon. We want cloth coming from storage. Oh, wait, can I... Hold still. Can I take... F no, that's supply barn. Okay, deliver cloth to the workshop. And then this workshop needs to go into a barn. And that's up one level too high. I'll do a worker for right now. And as soon as we get a few belts, then I can replace some of those workers with belts. Maybe I'll just leave this the way that it is. That'll work fine. And actually, we don't even need this many workers up here. Well, is that really what I wanted you to do? I think you'll stop now. Okay, uh, so we have belts now, I think. Why are you hopping around the long way? Oh, because you can't reach up. Okay, well then you need to just be retired anyway. Uh, then we need a slope here. This goes here. And that should take, oh boy. Wheels are a real problem, huh? Why? Because I keep spending planks and wood wheels on my own. Okay, this is keeping up, but I think we just need to have more lumber mills. Yeah, I think it's time to reconfigure this whole area. So, I want you to stop. I want to change this barn for a little while here. So that these are output. So we can empty out the barn. Because you can't move a barn that has stuff in it. You can move a workshop that has stuff in it, but not a barn. Let's take that up. And let's reconfigure this somehow. I think I'll do that. That. Then I don't have to move this. I can actually move it even closer. Well, I can move it a lot a bit closer. 
We're not going to need you anymore, because we'll use belts now, so you can actually be retired. And we were making jokes about I was retiring uh, my... Or I wanted to retire some of my villagers in Age of Empires on stream uh, last night as I played this, two days ago as you watch this at least. Um, and uh, we were making jokes about retiring them like I retire people here. Anyway. All right, so this is not done yet. Why do you find, if you're going to insist upon going that way, then I will put a path in for you. And then cloth is an issue, and we're going to have probably do the same kind of thing with cloth and beef up the uh, the farming and or the cloth making part here, eventually. Let's clone this, because we might as well. And let's just go with two planks, uh, two plank lumber mills for right now. This is done. This is done. Okay, well then, I'm going to get these guys to help. Liver wood wheel to workshop. And then this workshop needs to get moved a little bit. Actually, maybe I'll just take this jump out. They don't really need it. And it's just kind of in the way now. I do still want the barn. I suppose I can start working on this area down here now. Uh, so this needs to come out into a chute. Nope. That kind of chute. And then that one goes there. That one goes there. And then these go onto a belt. And I want to delete this tree. Eleven more to move. I might need to add more workers here, but that's understandable. I really do wish you could move a barn with it having stuff in it. It's kind of a kind of a little bit of an annoying um, mechanic of the game. But now at least we have cloth as our issue. Uh, do I want 200 belts? Yeah, because I might have a large belt project that I want to have 200 belts for. One more. All right, so one of you can be retired. All right, and then I can move this barn. Two, three, one, two. Oh, that's that's kind of perfect. I go there. Um, the only issue is the belt. Can I... F no, let's do this differently then. Move the barn one space this way. And have a multiple purpose here. Uh, the first purpose is to get... No, because I'm going to maybe want two more here. So that doesn't help me that much. Can I take this upward? Enough. I don't know that that's going to work. Negative. Okay, that means I need to start back here further. I'm trying to keep it planned so that I can have two more lumber mills working this area. And I just have enough space for, for one otherwise. Alright, so that goes up there. Um, actually, I could go right here then, right? No, I guess I can't. Bummer. Okay. And this can go this way. 
and then I need to just put these in here. And I will use this scaffold for that part. I'll go in there, and then I need to change these back to input only. Uh, you can be retired. And you're still going to do your thing, which is fine. Uh, and let's do a belt going there. And a belt going there. Uh, BG grabber. Shouldn't need a grabber there. This is going to only grab planks, though. And now we're back in action. The only issue is these don't merge very well. Although I guess it doesn't matter because we're still res restricted on the speed of the belt. So if this one gets backed up, I need a sorter, but I don't have a sorter yet, do I? No. So this one's going to produce more anyway. And only going to, this one's only going to get stuff to produce once this gets backed up. But I think we need at least one more worker here foresting trees. So now this wood wheel factory is not fast enough. Or maybe it is. How did it get... Planks? Does the grabber override this? It looks like it does. Interesting. I didn't realize the grabber overrode... The, uh, the controls on the barn. But it is overriding it. Oh no, the planks are in the wrong spot. Wait a minute, how did you get into that one? That's the problem. And that's interesting. Okay, I think I just needed to get some going in here, like, because there might have been one in here to start with. It was, like, trying to fill this slot up before it got to this one. Maybe. Not sure. Okay, so that's done. Uh, and so now our issue is going to be cloth, I think. But actually, maybe not. Uh, we'll leave that alone. Let's make something else. We made cloth conveyor belts. Uh, actually, let's see where the conveyor belts can help us improve something. Uh, right now, grain is an issue, so, uh, you know what? Actually, we do want to farm at least for some fertilizer, but let me think. Uh, let's look at what we need for antidote, health potion, and elixirs. Uh, out here at one of these, the first one. Health potions need flour. Okay, so we're going to definitely need to process more grain to make flour for that one. Uh, and then we need antidotes to get wards. We need jam, root sugar, and fuel to make antidotes. And we need milk and health potions to make magic cloaks. And then here we need the, the wards from over there, the magic cloaks from down here, plus gold to get the elixir. Okay, so um, let's see. Since we know all that stuff, even though I've kind of just forgotten it. Oh, we, we finished uh, something. I don't remember what it was. I think we need to beef up our grain production, which means we'll need to want to add more workers here, which means that th these these fields are going to in no way be able to keep up. So if that's the case, then we're going to need to do another farm. And we'll go that way with it. And we want this to farm grain. Wait, did I? Do I? Nah. And then I want a grain mill making animal feed. Uh, actually, that needs to go that way. And then this will be a shoot. And then the animal feed will go into a pasture.
And the big question is going to be, for me, do I want to just make fertilizer for right now? Or do I want to start stockpiling something like milk for later? I'll just make fertilizer for now because I can always change this over to make milk later. And uh, that means this means that for now it's a little bit cheaper for me. And we'll belt that because I think that has to be belted. Or was this able to be shooted? Oh yeah, that's able to be shooted. Well, shoot. Shoot that. Okay, and now I've got a bunch of animal feed in my stores that I can't use. Alright, and then this fertilizer needs to go into a barn for me to use. And can fertilizer go on a shoot? Yes, it can. And let's just fill it up, I don't care. Uh, so now, let's make farming, farm tile. Uh... Uh, someone said in the comments today, uh, let me think, or in a comment today, fertilizer that you use on farms are only ap applied to the grain planted on farm tiles. The wild ones don't get, or do not seem to be getting fertilized. So actually no use keeping them around when using fertilizer on farms. Uh, that was Eben it was hellish. And uh, I, I believe that that is probably going to be correct. Let's see if there's a way to tell. Uh, well, in order to tell, I guess I need to have... I guess I should have done this differently here. Let's let's move this around. Uh, delete this here. Uh, move this over somewhere. Where can I move this there? Okay. Um... One more. Okay, and then shoot, shoot. And then this is actually gonna come out this way into a, another barn. I'm just gonna clone this barn and put another one up right here. Because what I wanna do is I wanna fertilize, put the fertilizer into the barn. And uh, actually I don't wanna put the fertilizer in the barn just yet. Um, because I wanna use, I wanna use what's built up first. But I also then want to have fertilizer going into this farm. And let's pick the, the supply of fertilizer. So use to make farm tiles and speed crop growth. So it doesn't say that it only speeds crop growth on a farm tile, but it's also not getting used. So that might be a true statement. So if I were now to put a farm tile here, just one, and I'm gonna build it under an existing wild grain. Oh, I need to build it under one that's harvested already. Um, let's go ahead and build a bunch of farm tiles over here, because I know I, I want some over here. Anyway, so we'll build a bunch of those and spend a bunch of this. And can I just delete this? And will it then put that fertilizer into my base? Let's see. Yes, it does. All right, excellent. Okay, so uh, let's plant grain. on these and then let me take a shoot out of here oopsie into this farm And that's should only be fertilizer in there, so that should be fine. And now I want to put this chute in. 
I will probably set up a buffer. But I want to see how this goes first. Let's uh, supply fertilizer now. Yeah, I think... I believe Helerish is right. See, there's the little brown marks that are showing up on these farm tiles. And now we're out of fertilizer. Okay, there we go. And I think that's indication of it being fertilized. Yeah, there's fertilizer on that tile. But there is no fertilizer that appears on these wild ones. So if I want to use fertilizer, uh, I need to build farm tiles underneath. Okay, fertilizer. Let's do a input only on that one. That way I get a buffer so I can build farm tiles underneath. So if I want, if I want these to grow fast, well... Uh, this needs to be a shoot. Why is that not a shoot? Well, shoot. That's dumb. And really, I should move these... Well, I guess it doesn't matter with a shoot. Distance matters not. Dang it. There we go. I still don't understand why I grab her, but okay. So all the fertilizer has been supplied and they're not supplying anymore because they're already filled. Ah, we got our intermediate logistics now. Okay, so um, they're already filled up. So what I wanna do now is take the fertilizer that's here. Is this outputting? Okay. One of the things I noticed is the worker in a production building only gives you 25% more plus the plus the happiness bonus. But a worker in a raw building, a raw resource building, gives you 100% more. So in a production line, you're much better off having one raw resource building with a bunch of workers and then having a bunch of great or a bunch of work uh, processing buildings, mid -tier, you know, mid-tier buildings or whatever, manufacturing buildings with one worker in each in a line like we did over here. So for this setup, assuming that there are enough trees in this coverage area, I'm much better off, or I plant more, I'm, I'm much better off having one forester with many uh, lumber mills rather than multiple foresters with one worker in each. Um, because then uh, you get you don't have to spend the resources or the space on the building. And so really, in this case, I probably should have had the Forester, potentially, depending on how built, big I build this setup, I should have had the Forester in, in an area all by itself with just a chute coming out and filled completely with trees. And that's my, probably where we're going to get to when we get to the end game on the standalone game, or the custom game. All right, so... This is getting enough animal feed. It's maintaining. Looks like it's maintaining. What's the upgrade do? Increases pasture production speed. So the upgrades are also reasonable too for the production buildings. You can't upgrade a raw resource building, but at least some of the production buildings you can upgrade. So that's an option too. Okay, so since we're providing uh, water and fertilizer to these farm tiles, they're going to grow a lot faster. And in fact, now, uh, grain is no longer our issue here. I think flour is. Flour is. So this is where now we do the same kind of thing as we did over, over any other area. And we take multiple grain mills. Take this out as well. We take multiple grain mills into one kitchen. Let's take these all up and let this empty out, or not, it doesn't matter, into one kitchen. Uh, let me move, or let me put some scaffolding here. Yeah, that's good. And then there, and you can actually be retired. Put scaffolding here too. That's not scaffolding button. And then let's do multiple of the grain mills. I'm just gonna have two for now, making flour. We'll do the same kind of a 
layout like that. And then a belt. Because I don't think... I think we figured out... Oh, flower can? Not. Why is that telling me it can't? Interesting. Interesting that it's not telling me that it can't. But it can't. Oh, we don't have flower made yet. <laughs> it can. Okay, good. Because of the sorter. Oh, we have sorters now. We can sort. Okay, and then let's take this this way. And then I want to take our crazy worker here. You can go stand over there for a minute. Take this out as well. And then let's take this path up. And let's one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go right here. Yeah, right there. And then I have I have room for two more of these if I need them. And this can go like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's go one more. Let's go in there. And then let's build this. With this. And then this. And then let's do this. I don't know if that's too high. Let's see. Grammar. Too high. Yep. Okay, we'll go here then. Belt. Grammar. Excellent. And then you can go over here. That's high enough. That's good. And in you go, and look at that. All automated. Hands-free. Well, except for the fuel, but we won't have a problem with the fuel. One log is a lot more fuel than, uh, was it two fuel a log? Uh, one wood is two fuel, so he'll be fine for a while. So two workers here. I assume actually the supply water works the same. It only supplies water to the farm tiles. I think we could probably have another worker. Trying to watch and see how the production line is working. It looks like it's working okay. It's not really pausing at all at the end. So that's good. And this is not making... Actually, this might be even keeping up with the demand for bread. So our demand here is two flour every four seconds divided by 1.2. If I get out a calculator... We, we go to town on this. 4 divided by 1.2 is 3.33 seconds per recipe, so I need 2 flour every 3.33 seconds. This is producing 1 flour every 4 divided by 1.2, which is 1 every 3.33 seconds, so 2 grain mills is 2 flour every 3.33 seconds. Which is perfect. And even in fact, you don't have to take this speed into account because everything's going to have the same speed bonus. So we can just say, I need two flour every four seconds. And this is making one flour every four seconds. So I just need to make sure that I get six grain every four seconds. And this is producing one grain every two seconds, but with three workers. So th it's making three grain every two seconds which is six grain every four seconds, which is perfect. Okay. Science rules. Okay. 
All right, I guess that's math, but you know what I mean. Uh, so let's do a little bit more on the farm tiling here. Underneath all of these others. And you can see that it is pulling in more fertilizer because we're spending it. And I'm going to do the same, maybe not for all of these, but for some of these. We're not using as much over here, I don't think. So. And these aren't being watered. Um, so they're going to grow a little bit slower as well with the fertilizer boost. Wait a minute. The fertilizer is just growth speed, not har it has no effect on harvest, just on growth. Alrighty. The only other thing I want to look at, I don't think that's any slower when this is running. It doesn't look like it is, at least. Hopefully it's not. Otherwise that messes with the math and it makes it a lot harder. Okay, so let's see. Who's next now? Um, cloth, I think, would be next. Uh, yeah, cloth would be next. So, uh, I think we just need to do the same thing. Um, shirts are going to demand two cloth every four seconds. The workshop is going to make one cloth every four seconds. So that means we need two workshops to make enough shirts. But we probably don't need to make that many shirts. But we, at least compared to what, we're made, what we need for the cloth for this. But I think we're going to at least need another workshop. And right now we're not getting anywhere near. That's part of the reason why. Oh, no, 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 right. This one. Supply water. Okay, good. But we need farm tiles out here. So let's um, let's put farm tiles up underneath these existing plants. So that they grow faster at a minimum with the water and then yeah there it goes juicy yeah it feels like it's the same speed after the water is all supplied so we need two cotton every four seconds for one of these and we're only making right now one cotton or two cotton every four seconds. Actually, we are making enough cotton. Barely. Barely. So we need to change this up though so we have two of these going. Uh, let's do it there. Or there. And then we'll go there. And this is uh, cloth from cotton. And then we can do something like this. And then like this. Oh, and I wanted to put sorters on these too, didn't I? Let's do that. Uh, sorry, splitter. Splitter there. Splitter there. And up here. Splitter there. Okay, so now you are still working on this one, which is fine, but we're going to replace you in a moment with a belt. Do some scaffolding here. We'll just go straight in. Belt there, and then a grabber here and here. Now you are no longer relevant. And we need to increase the workers here. So let's double check the numbers now. We need two cotton every four seconds. So two of these means we need four cotton every four seconds. Two workers, which is 200%, not counting the, the productivity bonus here, means that we're getting one cotton every second, so that's four cotton every four seconds. So that should be now to ratio. And then here, uh, the only potential issue is shirts. And whether I need to have more production here in order to have more, more shirts. 
Uh, but I want to retire these guys. Just deliver it to there and to there. And then let's do a... Uh, let's do it that way. And then that way. And then I want to grab her. I build it wrong. So that I can change the filter to only be cloth. And then rotate. So this is demanding two cloth every four seconds and we're making two cloth every four seconds so with just this setup we're actually only making enough four shirts assuming assuming that um that we can we need to consume one shirt every four seconds which is probably a true statement because we don't have a backup here and we only have 63 percent whatever the the check is here. Uh, active consumption. Whatever that really means. So I think we probably need to increase our um, workshops for cloth some more. And maybe I can do that um, after the uh, uh, between the episodes. Um, and then you guys can join me for the next episode where we actually get into something something next. Maybe working toward metal or, um, I'm not sure. I will take a look and I will, uh, show you all. We'll, we'll pick it out in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me and I will see you then. Bye for now.